Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. This time around, I'm going to focus my discussion on the three stocks that really created some buzz in uh, the U.S. Uh, market. Okay, that would be our GameStop, Nokia, and BlackBerry. Okay, as you can see uh, right on our screen here is uh, GameStop. So after a massive uh, uh, increase in the price, almost immediately, uh, just how many days after it declined significantly, almost right uh, back at the original level of where the stock price was um, around when? January 21st. Okay, so, but the bigger question here is, is it really game over for GameStop? Okay, so my take on this is that and uh, just to give you a disclaimer guys, I am not a financial guru. The reason why I'm doing this video is just to document my thoughts and uh, the thought process, right? And uh, really find out if this is going to pan out the way I am envisioning at this point. Okay, so this is just for uh, documentation purposes. So please take the time to also do your research and uh, uh, take action based on your profile. Okay, so my profile is I'm a position trader and uh, I'm okay to hold on to a position for a few weeks to even a month or longer than that if I see a bigger potential for the stock to move higher. Okay, so um, what are my thoughts for GameStop? GameStop over here with a massive decline. Uh, overall, I see a, a possible bounce for this stock. So it's not totally a game over for GameStop. But I would have to say, if you are interested in getting in this stock, expect for high volatility. That can still happen um, right at this stage. I'm thinking if I would like to get in this stock, probably I will just have to place an order. Okay, I would do an, uh, uh, place an order somewhere around the 37 37 area 37 38 area which was the previous support at this point looks like it is trying to create a support at this level but um, the data is not that we don't have enough data it's just two days worth well it's true that it could potentially create some bounce right at that level uh, but it's not that strong for for a support okay um, so I'd say I'd be on, on the conservative side and probably uh, use this area as my support where we had a consolidation here or uh, yeah, we did some sideways over here and then uh, and before it took off. So I, if I'm to put an order right here, just a test buy, uh, I have to of course manage the volume of, of my position because again, uh, this is very volatile at this point so enter right here put a, a probably a stop loss around let me see wow probably just a tight stop loss at that uh, point um, let me just see this yeah um, I'd say yeah, 35, 36, okay, this level, okay. And I'd put a uh, stop loss probably around the 1290. Given that the um, stock is very volatile, it could challenge up to this point even, right? I could um, go as low as 1218 so that I don't be kicked out uh, right away. And uh, that's one thing I've noticed, especially in eToro, for mid to long term investors. Uh, they just put their, uh, they just set their psychological or, yeah, uh, psychological stop loss levels, or they just, they, they do mental stop loss uh, <laughs> uh, markers. So um, I just put it that way. I will not automatically set that. Um, but at any time, I could be uh, exiting if I feel that really uh, looks like this is really bound to go massively down back to its original level, then I don't even have to wait. 
So I just put a, uh, I'll just mark it at that level, but I, I'll play it by ear. But so far, I just feel that 37 around that area would be a possible support. Uh, although if you were to look at the, uh, the um, after hours volume and uh, the price right now, it's uh, 66.31. So that could mean we could have uh, a slight push moving up and uh, this could also trigger a possible continuation to the upside. Uh, but then again, I'm on the conservative side and you don't have to follow what I'm saying here because we might have a different profile. So I'd enter right here. Uh, this I have to set. I'd set uh, my order even as early as now. I can do that. And then if, if it gets hit, then good, because I'm able to enter at a much cheaper price. Um, otherwise, then I'll let it pass. No pressure about that. So now, what are my expectations? Will it go as high as this level um, once again? Definitely not. I think the, the farthest this could go would be a will fill this gap. Yeah, we might fill this gap, but I am not expecting for that to happen overnight. And uh, that's already, a, in fact, a significant uh, increase in the price if you're to look at it, right? 255%. Um, but that's best effort, okay? So what I'm expecting at the moment here is we, it, this stock could go uh, bounce, but I think it will create some lower highs this time. I don't see it really going back to the 400 level. And that's the part where I can say game over in that in that context because we cannot go back to this area once again. Okay. Unless all the retailers will once again uh, unite and uh, push the price higher. But this is our my conservative outlook for now. Let's talk about BlackBerry. This as well is starting to show some signs of recovery. Uh, we have an engulfing candlestick right here. And so I feel that this stock could uh, continue to push higher. But uh, similar to um, what we have for GameStop, I don't expect for this stock to really skyrocket again. I'm thinking it could go higher, um, maybe up to the 19.33 area right up to this level this used to be um, our, our resistance level so if it is going to go up um, maybe you can uh, set your profit taking level around that area 47 but if you can um, also probably set a, an order right at this area because within the day uh, we really are not sure there could be um, volatility and uh, it would hit your order so the nearer you are to the support that we have plotted right here the better and uh, let's check where blackberry is as this time of um, after hours is currently 1348 so 1348 so there could be a you know that's a positive sign that we might have a continuation so just try to haggle any anywhere between 1163 to 1323 would be a, a good area to uh, try out. Next would be Nokia. Nokia, this one I am not too confident. Um, contrary to what I see for BlackBerry and uh, GameStop, I think there will be a continuation for this stock to go down even more. So. Uh, I don't see it bouncing um, at this area. I see it probably it could go down up to this level right at the uh, 3.47. That's the nearest support I see for this stock. Let's take a look at the weekly chart though. Okay. This could be, yeah. And then probably it could go down and uh, revisit your uh, 3.25 area. That is the um, support that I see at the moment. Or 
But overall, um, try to be on the conservative side because uh, so far, Nokia, BlackBerry, uh, I haven't really heard a lot of uh, good catalysts for these stocks. And uh, there are a lot of competition in the, in the field they are in. So they really have to innovate so that the public or consumers will start noticing them once again. So uh, just be extra careful. These three stocks that I have mentioned today uh, may not be game over yet for them intraday, right? But just be extra careful and uh, lock in some gains if you are already profitable, all right? Again, uh, my profile could be different um, as what you have or what you believe in. This is just my thought, and I am a position trader. I can go mid uh mid-term to long-term if, if I want to, uh, but most of the time I go position. But for this stock, um, maybe between the three, I'd go for GameStop. GameStop, uh, because I think there will be high volatility. The, there will be some, some short-term or intraday uh, setups here that I can still trade on, but definitely on the short-term uh, for this stock. At least um, I see a, a possible area where it could bounce and good setup as a position trader, right? But I still would like to haggle. 37.31 would be my area. So which is technically, it may look very near, but... Technically, that is what a uh, almost yeah 40 percent lower than where it is at right now. So the nearer um, I get to the 37 area or 37.31, I could be um, entering slightly higher than that. But I'll play it by ear. But uh, the goal is to be as near as I can at this level and then uh, intraday trade for this stock. If I see a weakness, then I could exit. Otherwise, if it continues to rally up, uh, this is our goal. Our goal is for this to fill the gap um, right at this level. Okay, so that's the farthest I think we can go in terms of gain. All right, so I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, and good luck to your trades and investments. If you'd like to uh, trade using the... Um, Using eToro as your platform, I have a link down below. It's very easy to set up and uh, there's no fee if you would like to uh, trade without leverage. When I say without leverage, that means you are not going to borrow money from the platform. Just uh, use times one leverage and you can um, stay on a stock for how long you want and there's no overnight fee. And like when you borrow, from the platform, then there's a, a daily, very minimal amount, but at least um, but if you don't use leverage, you can just hang in there for a long time until you become profitable. Okay, so I think that is it for, for this evening. Thank you guys for watching and good luck. Bye-bye for now.